What's going on YouTube? This is Cletus. Um, just doing a little uh, informational video. Discovered a problem last week with Linguica. You can't really see her. She's hiding in her warm spot moss hide right now. Um, she had a rough morning and she had a rough week last week. She is vomiting. Now, this isn't regurgitation. There is a difference between regurgitation and vomiting in snakes. Um, regurgitation usually occurs very soon after feeding and the meal is undigested. It's usually covered in bile and smells pretty bad and it's usually a pretty whole animal. Um, vomiting occurs well after the meal has been eaten. I'm going to try to get a good picture here of this. This we have here is vomit from a Brazilian rainbow boa. Now the brown stuff you see all around this is substrate. This is reptobark and cocoa fiber. Um, what you'll notice if we dissect this, I dissected it last week, so I'm not going to get too into it this week. Um, oh god, it smells pretty bad. If you just sift through this, this is just hair. That's all it is. This is just a big, smelly wad of hair. Um... And with a little research and sifting through lots of people that either assume that it is regurgitation or urates, which is the digested calcium found in snake poop. It's pretty much their urine. Their poop comes out, you know, kind of standard three-part. You have your brown feces, your white urates, and there's usually some yellow stuff in there. Um... This is not feces, this is not urates, this is not regurgitation, this is vomit. And it's hair. And the reason that it happens is Brazilian rainbow boas have a hard time digesting hair. Uh, more specifically, they have a hard time digesting mouse hair. Hair is difficult to digest for most snakes, and apparently Brazilian rainbow boas have an even harder time digesting hair. And mouse hair is not only harder to digest for the snake, but there's also a lot more hair on a mouse than there is a rat. Um, so I guess what I've learned is my Brazilian rainbow boa probably should be eating rats. So her next feeding, I'm going to switch her over to pinky rats. She was eating 10 to 12 gram hopper mice. Um, she did have some good digest, you know, some good feeds where they were digested properly, but her past two feedings she has vomited. It's been, you know, five days after she ate both times. Um, so I'm going to try the pinky rat and I think that should fix it. You know, this, once again, as you can see, that's just hair. Uh, when I found it this morning, it was very bright, glossy white, and you could actually see the hair. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little informational video. Um, hope it helps. Hope you learned something. Uh, talk to you later.